In this video, I'm presenting the paper Revisiting Warm Glow versus Cold Prickle. The title relates to a paper by James Andreoni from 1995, who has shown in a lab experiment that it makes a difference whether a contribution to a public good is framed as a positive externality, so everybody benefits from your contribution, or whether non-contribution is framed as a negative externality, so everybody is harmed if you do not contribute. And he concludes that there must be some asymmetry in the way people feel personally about doing good, which is the feeling of the warm glow of giving, versus not doing bad, which is the avoidance of a cold prickle of doing bad. And he finds that more contributions are made under the warm glow frame, and therefore he concludes that the warm glow must be stronger than the cold prickle. And we re-examine this asymmetry by running an experiment that adds two, two new features. First, it's a frame field experiment. So it's a survey-based in incentivized experiment among 4,000 households about a real-world commodity, carbon offsets in our case. And we add the feature of damage heterogeneity, which means that subjects differ in their carbon footprint. And therefore, the harm caused by not contributing, so not buying carbon offsets, is heterogeneous among, this, uh, among the respondents. And the, the main task is to just decide how much of a given 100 euro budget they want to invest in purchasing carbon offsets. And the framing is introduced on the same screen by the following sentences. And the core prickle frame, it said, you cause CO2 emissions through, among other things, your car journeys, air travel, and heating your living space. While under the warm glow frame, it's just said, all over the world, people cause CO2 emissions. So that is a problem. And now you can do something against that. And what we also have in, in the survey is information about the respondents' car use and car type over the past year. And this enables us to calculate the amount of money needed to offset the respondents' car driving emissions from the past year, which we call damage. And under the cold prickle frame, we tell them, for instance, if you donate X euros, and this X is then the individual damage amount, you will offset the estimated Y kilograms of CO2 emitted by your car journeys last year. And we call this the informative anchor because it provides a number and it provides the information about what that number means. Well, under the, uh, the warm glow frame, we have a control treatment where we just say, if you donate X euros, which is again the damage amount, you will offset Y kilograms of CO2, which we call the uninformative anchor because it still provides a number which can serve as an anchor, but it doesn't convey any information content about this number. And then we uh, run a two by two design. So we have two, two cold prickle groups and two warm glow groups. And in each, there's one group without any anchoring and the other group that saw the respective anchor. And then on the elicitation screen, first they saw the, the framing sentence, then they saw the sentence introducing the anchor. And then on the slider, they could make the decision about how much money should be invested in carbon offsets. And if we now plot the offsetting against the damage amounts, we see that under the warm glow frame, this is a flat curve. So there's no, no uh, correlation between damage and offsetting. But under the cold prickle frame, we see upward sloping curve. So those who have, uh, who have a larger carbon footprint, they also uh, offset more. So we call this the alignment effect of the cold prickle because it aligns damages and contributions. This is also confirmed by parametric regression analysis. And if we now distinguish between those who saw an anchor and those who, who did not, we still see this upward sloping curve under the cold prickle frame and the flat curve under the warm glow frame. So the alignment effect is present in, in both groups, but it's of course much more pronounced under the, under the uh, anchoring group, so where the actual damage amount was, was told. But what's interesting is that there's also in the anchoring group no positive association between damages and offsetting for the warm glow group. So it's not just because they saw a number, the, the, the alignment effect, but it's really because of the information content of this, of this anchor. So on average, our results confirm Andreoni's finding. The warm glow is slightly stronger than the cold prickle. But in the presence of damage heterogeneity, the cold prickle frame leads to a positive relation between damages and contributions, which we call the alignment effect. And the provision of an informative anchor reinforces this effect further. And this could, for example, be used to, to target fundraising strategies for climate change mitigation. So use the warm glow frame for low polluters and the cold prickle frame for high polluters. Thank you.